Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but unfortunately I've been busy and not, I haven't been able to or have I haven't had the time to to vlog or blog. So that's why I had this delay for my videos. So this week has been busy mainly due to some um, some practical things I've been working on and since I want to get the article about HECT and about uh, treating MS in general and how neurologists uh, treat MS patients in general that's, that's kind of my argumentation and my comment on that subject I want to get this article published as soon as possible so that many doctors have read my article by the time I will be a neurologist and this article or a punitive article is going to be uh, hopefully published I tried to write it as a as neatly and in a PC way as possible so so that it will definitely be published uh, as soon as possible yes uh, the article should be published in a in a medical journal that is mainly uh, published for uh, practicing doctors and specialists and uh, medical staff so through my husband I am able to read every single issue of this journal and through this article or the the writing I'm going to forward for publishing is a medium medium to to show also for the specialist that some patients do really want to have a change and we are not satisfied with the way it is right now for us especially for people with MS. Luckily I am now able to do this and I'm going to also through a, a Facebook page a group I just a uh, couple months back I, I just established with my husband and we're going to at least in my country try to recruit and find people who are really willing to engage in their own. So yes it is quite of a great importance to get this article published before going to AGCT and just spreading the news about this treatment because it is also about the finances because if I'm able to get this message through to the neurologist and spread uh, bring more and more uh, HACT awareness I might be able to make a change in the treatment protocols and treatment uh, standards that we have in my country but that is my my ultimate goal to in addition of course to expressing how unsatisfied I've been throughout my MS course, my MS history with uh, neurologists and uh, treating facilities. And as a patient I think that I have a right to, exp to speak my mind and also going to tell the world that I really want to things to change not only for myself but also for the, for other patients in my country so keep the thumbs up for me and for my article so that it will get a well accepted and good response from the medical side in order to to promote the AGC treatment and eventually help it become uh, a, a conventional 
therapy and treatment for MS and other autoimmune disorders. The, the main idea in my article was it is somehow weird that some auto, autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis in comparison uh, with MS, they are not equal diseases. They are, although they have they, the the causing factor is mainly based on the autoimmune uh, component in both diseases, and that's why I, it's for me hard to understand how it is possible that the treatments in, for uh, rheumatoid arthritis and MS are completely different. MS is treated often with injections, injectable therapies and pills and other uh, milder therapies, but in rheumatoid arthritis, for example, uh, there is used uh, harder, more aggressive therapy in order to to seize the half the overall disease activity already in the very beginning. And that is something, at least in my opinion, that should be definitely done also in the treatment of MS, since they it is also an autoimmune disorder, although uh, the pathogenesis behind MS are not completely understood. But as far as we know, the the white blood cells, the lymphocytes, are the main uh, contrib contributing to MS disease activity. So yes, I really think that this article should have been written a long time ago, but luckily my husband told me to do this and now it's getting done and hopefully uh, I will get some feedback if not anyways the main thing is that I will be able to get this article published and raise some extra HCT awareness before my own treatment and before of the treatment of many other people but as far as I know, there are not many people in my country who are going to pursue this treatment since there is not knowledge. There is no knowledge about this treatment existing. And that is a very sad thing because most neurologists don't even recognize this treatment. They don't even, they even have, don't, some, even some neurologists haven't even heard about this treatment. So that is logical why patients do not have information, do not have knowledge on this about this treatment. So that's why I really need to do this for also for other people because all these patients really do at least even they are not uh, going to pursue this treatment, but at least they have the right to know that such treatment and such treatment option does exist. This is we don't have time. As soon as I will get my hopefully get my article published in the in the medical journal. I will most likely also post uh, the article uh, translation of the article in my in my blog page so you can see it yourself if you're interested hopefully soon and I guess that was for it for today and I thank you for watching I I hope you donate or at least I hope to see some new donations and I really need to get HACT for for my MS next year and I really need your support guys in every way but that was it for today thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye